Okay, you look. We have about two hours to finish this off, so I need you to sew like your life depend on it, which in a funny way, they do. Oh, the machine's working. No, okay, we're my men. There's plenty there to be getting on with. Well, come on, boo. Two minutes late. Have we not a toothpaste out to go to depths? Did anybody else think that electrician looked like Lionel Black? Oh, I thought he looked like Denzel Washington. Oh, yeah. How could he look like both of them when the two of them look nothing like each other? Julie, don't encourage him. Come on. So, so, so. It's just being packed as we speak. The girls are just finishing up. It's a bit last minute, isn't it? I was hoping to start shipping this afternoon. You said you could manage. Oh, no. But there's just been a little problem with the roof, that's all. How's Lynette? Lynette? She's misery itself. Oh, dear. How are you coping, anyway? Must be hard not having Tony around. He's a convicted murderer, Boyd. It's bliss not having him around. Did you ever go and see him? Well, he sent me a visiting order last month, as it happens. I, uh, I ripped it into a thousand pieces. He did have another woman after I left him, you know. How's the invoice looking, Mr. Rickson? How's the line looking? I'm nearly there. We'll ditto that. Coffee's terrific in this place. Well, nice, isn't it? Are you Mr. Rickson? Call me Boyd. I'm Mr. Sutherland. Call me Kirk. Where's a name like Kirk come from, do you know? Your parents gave it me. Means church. If you think of it like that, it's a funny thing to call a child, isn't it? Church? That's my real name. Church Sutherland. Well, what does Boyd mean? Why your own business? What are these, Church? The knickers, Mr. Rickson. Pants. Uh, this is all your order. Nick, can I have a word? Oh, <laughs> again? Did no one teach you to knock? Is this about those yogurts? It's hey, urgent. Did I storm into the salon while you're in the middle of a perm? No. Where's the bow? I beg your pardon? The bow. What bow? Look at the design. What, you don't like them? The piping's all to cock and the bow's missing. I'm really sorry, boy. We've been way up against it. I've got literally hundreds of customers waiting to receive these. They look like Mr. Silly's house. Well, What's going on? I'm oh, sorry. You can rip that invoice up. Oh, no, no, no. Wait! I'm fed up awaiting. We'll redo him. I haven't got time for this. I'm sorry. I'm taking the business elsewhere. What's wrong? The elastic was top of the range. I promise you. Tony would have left the bows off. What? Tony would have put bells on. Don't go give me that. Mr. Rickson, Mr. Rickson. There was a design, Hayley, and then there were these. Yeah, what happened in between in the actual sewing bit? Oh, no. No, no, we're only asking you what went wrong. Oh, don't worry. It's only the second contract in two days we've managed to lose. I don't know what happened. Hayley, it's a bit of piping in the bowl. It's not worth getting in a tiz about. Oh, it's only £11,000 down the train, but hey, it's not about the money. Yes, it is about the money, but it's not Hayley's fault. I thought that Mr. Tilsley said that the elastic... Don't worry about the elastic. The elastic wasn't the problem. Look, we didn't want Rickson as a client anyway. I think he wears these pants at home. That's why he got so upset. <laughs> why don't we buy the entire stuff for Ferrari? Come on, it's all right. Sorry. Come on, Hayley. I've only got limited sympathy. You know that. Please stop crying. It's not just the pants. No, it's the bras and bodices as well. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> what? Is there any more work in the pipeline? There's always work in the pipeline. Where is this pipeline? Sean. And um, is said work going to start soon? We're chasing contracts all the time. Do you ever catch them? <laughs> Very good, I like this one. Oh, isn't it nice? She's confident. We do sometimes catch them, is it? Yes. But there's nothing right now, though, is there? I mean, can you just please be honest with us this time? No. There's nothing doing just this minute. We've made one monumental cock-up. It doesn't matter who's to blame, but between us all, we've lost a very lucrative and ongoing client. So are you going to send us home, or did we just sit here doing notes and crosses? No, you can go on. And you can stay on. Just give us a chance to get this roof fixed and, uh, hopefully, pull in some work. Call it two weeks, or as I like to say, a fortnight. 
Also, we'll have to defer payment of your wages. What does that mean? It means we're not going to get paid. Well, I told Ashley I'd be out by the end of the week. I need money to pay rent. I'm looking for somewhere to live. You've got more time to house hunt then, haven't you? Is this what I left Fresh goes for? You could always go back there. Not after the mouthful I gave them. <laughs> we can imagine. Look, you'll get paid as soon as possible, with bonuses. All we ask is you bear with us. You know, in the short time I've been here, I've got a real sense of your loyalty to each other and the business. <clears throat> you can't feed this lot of guff like that. He'll learn. Go on, Scarpa. We could have paid them with the money from the safe, you know. I thought the money should go towards the roof. <laughs> oh, and you came here, you said you had all these connections, but I'm beginning to think you don't know the rag trade at all. Plus, it was your job to oversee that order, and you know it. My mum is on trial for murder. Oh, boo-hoo. When we're in here, we fret about women's underwear. When we're out there, we can fret about the rest. You're the one who agreed to up the order under pressure as it was. Yeah, well, if you were at yesterday's meeting, we might not have lost that one and all. Yeah, I'm sure we wouldn't have if uh, your bin man boyfriend hadn't stuck his beak in. Don't call him the bin man. He's better at his job than you'll have a bit at yours. <laughs> I mean, anyone can do his job. You pick up the bin, you empty it. We've got two weeks to rustle up some work. Or a fortnight, as you like to call it. So please, a long last impress me. Oh, and what was all this about the elastic? Brian Dolman, how the devil are you? Yeah, it's Carla Connor. I said to him, can't win them all. You draw some, you lose some. This is it. It's horrible getting wrong end of stick. I'm always getting the wrong end of the stick. The thing with wrong end of stick is it looks exactly the same as right end of stick. Well, this is it. Ah, hello, boys. Hello, love. What are you having? Brandy, pint. Oh, dear. Red wine. I have had a stinker trip, an absolute man. I suppose you've heard all about it, have you? Mm. Janice, give me the headlines. Mm. Would you bring it over, love? I've got to take my shoes off. Okay. Look at you. Nothing you like more than listening to a woman moan about a day. As long as you look like you're listening, that's all they're bothered about. They don't want sympathy or advice, just the appearance of concern. It's about to go. Into this cul de sac. <clears throat> Daz jumps off wagon to get first wheel of it. <clears throat> Thing weighs an absolute yeah. ton. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're all like trying not to laugh. He's like, what are they putting here? <laughs> so he opens a wheelie bin. There's Sammy in there, <laughs> crouching down with his head sticking up. All oh, fake blood all over in the works. And he nearly had a baby. <laughs> Absolute pillory work. Best one in years. Is that really what you lot get up to? Yeah. What do you take us for? It will last birthday. <laughs> Buy him a card. <laughs> what you like. All right. I hope, Jan. All right, Janice. Are you back tonight, Trevor? Yeah, uh, I think I'll be stopping in Carlos tonight. He's a bit presumptuous, isn't he, Janice? <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll be back in the morning, though, so I'll try not to wait. Oh, don't worry. I'll be having a lion. So, what was this personal question, then? Oh, I was just wondering, how did you get made disabled? How did I get made disabled? Well, uh, I mean... Were you born like that? Were you born like that? Yeah. I was the victim of a hit and run, 13 years old. Ouch. Left me lying there in the road with my legs all crooked. Not so awful. Same thing happened to my brother-in-law, except he wasn't so lucky. Oh, no, Kirk. I was joking. I'm sorry. I... I've got a degenerative thing. It's genetic. You mean your brother-in-law died? It's even worse than that. The driver did it on purpose. Ouch. I was there. 
I just give juicier explanations out of boredom sometimes. I'm so sorry. Don't say anything. But the bloke who said it all up was Carl's husband. The bloke she sat with now? No, no. That's a new boyfriend. Her husband's in the slammer. Good and proper. I really fancy a kebab. Can we share one? Oh. I'm still watching me wee. I'll be like a barrage balloon. Oh, please yourself then, fat boy. I'm having one. You're bad for me, you are. Oh, no one's got a gun to your head, have they? Right. Nene. Nah, nah. right. Hey. I'm looking at your wife as we speak. She's got another man on the go. Good for her. I hope she's as happy as I was before she destroyed my life. I've sussed out the factory. And I've got what you asked for. What about Roy Cropper? He's a genuinely nice man. Did you know the largest bat in the world is called the Flying Fox? Don't be fooled by his cuddly exterior. I haven't seen the wife, though. There was a woman working there. Nice lady. I think she was called Annie or Anne Elms. Right. She's nothing. Don't worry about her. Anything else she can tell me? I haven't even been to see my mother yet. Save that till afterwards. You can buy the next frog. She's dead, Tony. Of course she is. Sorry, Robbie. I've just not been thinking. I've been thinking straight. She'll have company soon, though, won't she? Yeah, everything goes to plan. You're seeing calm just now, though, yeah? In all the months you've known me, have I been anything but calm? Look, I'm glad you're on my side. The gun definitely works. Yeah, of course it works. You definitely know how to use it. I was in the military, Tony. You know I was. I was in the Falklands, I was in Ireland, I was in Germany. I was all over the... Right, OK. I better go off the phone and I won't be going anywhere. I'll see you in the morning as planned, yeah? Yeah. Good luck. 